Hey guys, welcome back again. Hope you had a good weekend. Uh, we're going to start off this week by continuing our discussions on electric vehicles and hybrid vehicles. Um, this time we're going to get into how the power actually goes from the motors or batteries down to the wheels. So this module is going to be in day 14 here. Select the module and we'll get started. Now looking at this picture, um, let's break this down a little more. You've got a 12 volt battery right here. Now, something that a lot of people don't realize is you've got two different batteries. You've got the hybrid battery back here, the high voltage one. You've also got a regular car battery. It is common on hybrid cars to have this battery go dead and then the car won't start. So if you get into a hybrid car, it won't start. Uh, the internal combustion engine won't start up. You do have to replace this. It's just a typical car battery, but these do go bad. Now, working our way around here, uh, we've got a DC to DC converter. We've got our DC to AC converter. And what those are doing is just converting different types of electricity, direct current versus alternating current. We've got our regular car engine right here, just a four cylinder car engine. Um, we've got our <coughs> electric motor right here, which can also um, serve as a generator. And then we've got our internal charger. On the back of the car, we've got our high voltage battery, and these do have a lot of power in them. So let's start off by reading the introduction. It says, a hybrid vehicle can be driven by an internal combustion engine, which they're gonna shorten up to say ICE, internal combustion engine, by an electric motor, or by a combination of both. The electric motor is also capable of functioning as a generator. And a generator just means it generates power. So it can go from using power to generating power. It kind of acts like a windmill or a turbine, you know, that generates power on a river. Converting kinetic energy into electricity. And kinetic energy is another way of saying just moving energy. The spinning of the wheels, it can convert that into electricity. The generated energy is stored in the HV high voltage battery. This is a schematic representation of a hybrid vehicle. How can the wheels be driven? So if we look at this picture, we've got a couple options. The internal combustion engine can drive the wheels straight through. Um, so there's this option here, internal combustion engine. Um, that's gonna be one option. We've got our electric motor right here that can also drive the wheels. And the two of them can actually work together through this little coupling right here and drive the wheels. The one thing that cannot do it is the alternator. That's gonna generate power from my battery over here, but it's not gonna actually drive my wheels. We'll hit check and we got it all right. Now we'll go to the second one. Which component in the drivetrain can convert the kinetic energy into electricity when braking? And kinetic energy is just another way of saying moving energy. Uh, and if we look, it's gonna be this one right here. So as the wheels spin, and we let off the gas, these are gonna keep moving, they're gonna keep rotating. We can actually send the power backwards and use this electric motor to turn into a generator to send power back to the battery. We're gonna talk about that more in a minute here. So it is going to be the electric motor generator, this part right there. We'll go to the third one. What happens to the generated electrical electricity? So if the wheels spin the electric motor slash generator, it's got to send power somewhere to get stored. And what it does is it actually sends it through this inverter here back to my battery pack, and that's where it's going to store it until we can use it again. So it's going to get stored in the HV battery pack. And now we're going to go to the second one at the top. So what we're going to start seeing now is the different ways it can send power to the wheels or generate electricity and send it back to the battery pack. So it says in the simulation here, now you are going to study how a hybrid vehicle operates in different situations. By selecting different settings, you'll be able to simulate how the system will respond. So our first one says, this is a hybrid vehicle that is partly driven by an internal combustion engine, ICE, and partly by the electric motor. Find the mechanical energy flow. So looking at this, we'll break it down a little more. We've got our electric motor, I'm sorry, our internal combustion engine right here. We've got our electric motor that can drive the wheels. And we've got that battery pack back here. So our power flow starts 
with our gas engine and then it continues through the electric motor. And you notice how the red line gets bigger? The electric motor is actually adding more power to give us more of a boost to our wheels. So you got to click on this side. You also got to click on this side. So electric motor, I'm sorry, gas engine starts the power flow. Electric motor gives it a little boost and sends more power down to our wheels. Now we'll go to the second one. Find the electrical energy flow. So if we look back here at my HV battery pack, coming off the positive, we've got our electrical flow right here going to our electric motors. We're gonna click on that red line. And that's a heavy duty cable. Um, they typically are always orange, so that you know it's a high voltage cable, so you don't accidentally cut the wrong wire and have bad things happen. So now we'll go to number three. Look at the electrical energy flow between the electric motor and the HV battery. Assess these statements. The energy flow from the generator to the HV battery. So in this case, we actually do see that. It's going from my electric motor or the generator, and now it's being sent backwards to the battery. So that's true. The power at the wheels is greater because the electric motor assists the internal combustion engine. Um, in this case, that is not true. What's happening is my gas engine is sending power, and some of it is being stolen away to recharge my batteries. So it's actually going to be false. The HV battery is being charged. That's true. We see the green line sending power to my battery. And the electric motor works like a generator. And that is true. That's what's happening right now is this electric motor is creating electricity to send it back to the battery pack to recharge it. So it's a little, a little tricky right there. Now we'll go to the fourth one. So what's going to happen in these is we're going to start moving these around and changing with different scenarios to see how the power flow is affected. So it says you are now going to study a hybrid vehicle's operation in different situations. By selecting different settings, you'll be able to simulate how the system will respond. And in this case, it says this is a simulation of a hybrid vehicle. Make the correct settings based on the following operating condition. Hybrid vehicle under normal under a normal load with a fully charged battery. So we've got normal load right here, and we're gonna change this one to a charged battery. So that's what it says right there. What provides the drive in this situation? So this car driving along, it's getting power, the wheels are being turned, but what we'll notice is it's not coming from the gas engine. All of my driving power is coming from the battery pack, sending power to this motor right here, the electric motor. So this car is driving right now with the gas engine off. It's only the electric motor that's working. So in this case, it's going to be the electric motor driving the wheels. And this is what makes these cars so effective, being able to change different scenarios based on what the need is. Now we'll go to number five. A hybrid vehicle is driving under heavy load. So we're going to change this to heavy with a fully charged HV battery. So that's going to stay uncharged. Make the correct settings. What happens in this situation? Now, because our car is heavier, it's got more weight, more people inside of it. Um, it needs some extra power, needs extra boost. So now what we're seeing is the electric motor is running. I'm sorry, the, the gas engine is running right now. That's sending power to my electric motor. And you'll see by the difference in the red lines, the electric motor is giving it a boost. It's giving it extra power. So in this case, both of them are driving the wheels. So the electric motor and the internal combustion engine drive the wheels together. Now the downside is it's using power from the battery pack. So eventually we'll have to recharge that. But for right now, we're sending power down to the electric motor to, to move my car along. We'll go to number six. A hybrid vehicle is driving under a heavy load with a discharged battery. So this is going to stay the same, but now we're going to change this to discharged. So it's been driving along for a while. It's worn out its battery pack and it's no longer able to provide us extra power. Um, what happens in this situation? What we're seeing now is the gas engine is providing power and you see the red line. However, my electric motor isn't giving it a boost anymore. All it's doing is kind of going along for the ride. It's not providing any extra power. The line stays the same, just passes right through the electric motor and then goes to my wheels. 
So in this case, the internal combustion engine is driving the wheels, the gas engine. Go to number seven. A hybrid vehicle is driving under normal load. So let's change this to normal with a discharged battery. So that's going to stay the same. Make the correct settings. What happens in this situation? Let's look at it. You notice my gas engine is running. It's putting out a lot of power. It goes to the electric motor, but now this electric motor is acting like a generator. It's creating electricity, and it's now sending power back to my battery pack to help recharge it. So our poor gas engine right now is actually doing double duty because it's powering my wheels, and it's sending power to my electric motor to generate power to recharge my battery. So this is the situation we want to actually avoid because now we're using a lot of extra gas to recharge battery and drive the wheels. So in this case, the internal combustion engine drives the vehicle. The electric motor operates as a generator to create power. So that's going to be the middle one. And we'll go to number eight. A hybrid vehicle is driving under extremely heavy load. So we'll change this to extremely heavy load with a discharged battery. So this is going to stay the same. We made our settings. What happens this time? So we got power coming out of our gas engine, going to our electric motor, but you'll notice this time it stopped charging my battery. Because it needs so much power to drive the wheels because the car's so heavy, it's not going to charge the battery anymore. It's just doing, it's going to ignore that it's there, and it's going to send all of its power straight through to the wheels. So now you're back to just having a regular car um, that doesn't act like a hybrid or electric car. So in this case, the internal combustion engine is driving the wheels. Go to number nine. A hybrid vehicle is driving under an extremely heavy load, so that stays the same, with a fully charged battery. So we'll change that to charged. Make the correct settings. What happens this time? Now if we look at this, our gas engine is running, it's creating power, sending it through to the electric motor. But now that my battery is fully charged back here, it's now able to send electricity to my electric motor and the electric motor gives it an extra boost, gives it extra power. And now we can send extra power to the wheels besides just the gas engine. So the two of these are now gonna work together to create extra power. So you don't have to use as much gas because the electricity is gonna help it out. So in this case, they're working together. So electric motor and gas engine drive the wheels together. Number 10. A hybrid vehicle is decelerating or slowing down. So let's change to decelerate with a discharged HV battery. So we'll change this to discharged. Make the correct settings. And what happens this time? Now what we're seeing is my wheels are turning but they're acting like a brake and they're actually sending the whole system, making it work in reverse. So power goes through to my electric motor and it now is forced to turn like a wind turbine and it can actually create electricity and send electricity back to my battery pack and start charging it again. You'll also notice the gas engine, it is not running, it's off. So it's saving gas. And this is what makes hybrid and electric cars so incredibly kind of amazing and powerful is they can create their own electricity every time you let off the gas. So if you've heard the term hypermiling or um, like the Priuses, are, they got a little display on the dash. Every time you let off the brake, I'm sorry, every time you let off the gas, it forces the wheels to turn, just the momentum of the car going down the road. And now it works in reverse and creates power to charge my battery. This is one of the reasons the brakes on electric and hybrid vehicles last so long. Um, it is common for them to go 100,000 miles before the brakes need to get serviced because they use this resistance to spin the electric motor to charge the battery. So the brake pads actually don't have to work as much. So getting back to the question here, in this situation, what's happening? The vehicle slows down using engine braking. Well, it's actually the electric motor working as a generator to slow the car down. So this is now creating power to send back to the battery pack. Number 11, 
A hybrid vehicle is decelerating with a fully charged battery. So decelerating, change that to charged. What happens in this situation? In this case, the battery is not going to be charged because it's already fully charged. We don't have to send it any more power. So now the car is just going to slow down using regular brakes and it's not going to recharge the battery pack. A hybrid vehicle comes to a stop with a discharged battery. So let's change this to stop and we're going to change this to discharge. What happens in this situation? We notice the gas engine stays running and the reason it stays running is it sends a little bit of power through to the electric motor. It's acting like a generator and it's generating power to send it to the battery pack to recharge the battery pack. So while the car is stopped, no power needs to be sent to the wheels, but it's going to stay running to start the recharge process to get that battery pack charged up as quick as it can. So the gas engine stays running to recharge our battery. And number 13, a hybrid vehicle comes to a stop with a fully charged battery. So it comes to a stop with a charged battery. What happens this time? What you're gonna notice is everything turned off. Everything went away. Gas engine stops running. Electric motors not acting as a generator to recharge the battery. Everything stops. And this is what makes electric and hybrid cars so efficient is they can turn off every time you come to a stop. So you're not wasting any gas. You're not wasting any electricity. So in this case, the internal combustion engine is not running. And if you're in a lot of stop and go traffic, that's where this becomes really powerful because it can turn off every time you're stopped and not waste the gas that it would normally waste just sitting there idling along. All right, we've hit the last bullet point here. So we are all done with this module. If you guys have any questions, reach out to us and we'll help get you answers. Otherwise, hope you have a wonderful week.